What is up guys, Casey here, and in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys, hopefully the final parts of our social media app. We'll see, we have like seven more steps. Uh, hopefully we can knock it all out in this video. If not, we'll have one more video, but we're almost done with this app, and I'm just so excited for this episode. So let's get right into it. So to get started, um, we need to create a data model for the uh, cells. So up here, the file, click new file, and we're just going to add a Swift file, okay? And let's name this file posts. This is going to store the data for our posts. We need to import Firebase because that's where we're going to have our images. We're going to have all that stuff in here. So import Firebase. And this is going to be class post, okay? We don't have a super class, so we can delete that. Now in this code, if you guys don't know what uh, data encapsulation is, this is a perfect example of it. So I have private var underscore username of type string, private var user image of type string, and it's going to be a string because it's going to be the location of the image, and then private var post image, okay, string, and then private var likes, and this is going to be type int. Now we have the variables, now we need to get getters and setters, okay? Var username of type string, return username, and then var user image, and this is of type string, and we already have that, so we're just gonna return the value, okay? Username, user image, post image. Now we're gonna need to have a getter and setter for this var post image of type string and we're going to say get return post image and then set post image equals new value that's all i gotta do there and then likes is just going to be a get property so type int and we're going to return likes sweet and then now we got to initialize the class okay so we're going to say init we need image url and that's going to be a string likes it's gonna be a type int. We need username. That's gonna be a type string. We need user image, and that's gonna be a type string. And then down here, we just say likes equals likes post image image URL, and then we have username equals username, and then we have user image equals user image. There we go. Okay, and then. That's for the class, just a, a normal initializer. But we also, uh, I forgot uh, two variables we need. Uh, we need the post key and a post reference. So private var underscore post key. And that's going to be type string. Okay, this is how we identify the post. Private var post ref. And that's going to be type f i r database reference. Let me create a getter for post key. Okay, so that is going to be var post key, and that's going to be of type string, and then we need return post key. Okay, there we go. That is all good. We need to, um, so again, I don't know, oh wait, do I need to do that? And down here, uh, I was like making the code look good. Um, we're going to say init, we're making another initializer, post key. And this is going to be a string. And then post data. And that is going to be of type dictionary, string, any object. Post key equals post key. And then down here, we're going to say it, if let username equals post data, okay, username as string. Then we are going to set the username equals username. There we go. So we need to add that for our image, uh, username, user image, post data. Okay, um, user image as string. Okay, and then user image equals user image. If let post image equals post data image URL as string. Then we're gonna set 
our uh, post image to this post image that we get from the database, okay? And the final one will be likes. Post data likes as string. Then we're going to set our post like or our likes, I guess, to likes. Awesome. Save that. Now our post ref is going to equal data service dot f i r database. Oh, likes as int. Sorry, guys. So post ref equals f i r database no dot database dot reference dot child. This will be posts. And then we'll worry about uh, likes in the near future. We don't need to do that right now. We need to create a cell. So go to view, new file, Google touch class. This will be UI table view cell. And then we're gonna name this post. And then next, add targets, create. First things first, we need to import Firebase. Let's add our IV outlets. User image, we'll type UI image view. Then our next one is going to be for username. Um, this is a UI label. And then the next one is going to be post image. Uh, type UI image view. And then the next one is going to be our likes label. And we'll just add in the, do we need to? No, yeah, that's all the outlets we need. Actually, we need to create our var variables first before we can do the next step. Var post is gonna be of type posts. Var user post key. And that's gonna be of type F I R database. Nope, database reference now down here we need to create a function and this is going to be configuring our cell so config cell okay so we're gonna to have to have parameters in this so that when someone calls this function it creates our cell um our cells user image username post image like label um those are ib outlets and we just have to connect the data to those outlets and since it's in a cell you can it just keeps replicating for each set of data. So we need um, our post. And then down here, let's just say self.post equals post and self.likeslabel.text equals post. Well, we have to concatenate because that's to be a string, right? Or is that anything? Uh, the likes label text is going to be a string. Okay. So we have to concat the int into a string that's going to be post dot likes boom okay now we got post now we have our likes label filled out we need our username self dot username dot text equals post dot username actually no um so each post is going to have a key which then goes to um a user so we may have to do something else with the username. I'm not 100% sure right now, um, but we will figure it out. Um, if it doesn't work, we, uh, there's another way to get the username. I'm not sure quite how we're gonna have the data set up in the database, but we'll get it, we'll get it. So just put that in there for right now. We may have to change it. Self, um, all right, so in the initializer, let's um, add, image this is gonna be of type ui image of course and they don't have to have an image um so if it's not equal to nil okay and user image and that is going to be of type ui image oh um uh, sorry not not equal equals equals nil so you don't have to have one and then user image equals UI image. And that is going to equal nil as well. Okay. Um, of type. There we go. Now we're going to have to write this twice because we have to get the image for the user and for the post, which we can use the same exact code. So once we make it, we'll just copy and paste it and uh, change a couple variables. So if if image is not equal to nil, let's just say 
self dot post image dot image equals image okay else let reference equal f i r storage okay dot storage dot reference for u r l post dot image post dot post image save that uh let's import i don't we don't need to but let's import firebase storage okay you don't have to if you don't want to oh uh u r l is all capitalized okay awesome so now we're gonna say ref dot data with maximum size two times one zero four tab data comma error in so if error is not equal to nil that means we have an error so let's print um well we couldn't upload the image okay or well, we couldn't load um couldn't load image okay and then otherwise we should have uh, uploaded the image okay let's say if let image data equals data if let image image equal ui image data data or image data then we're going to self dot post image dot image equals image okay that's all we need there save for that all right and then we can just copy this right here command c command v to paste and instead of image we're going to say change this to user image okay user image user image oh wait no um post dot user image okay so we're in the user image and that should be it okay so now let's head over to the feed vc and at the top uh let's import firebase okay and here we're gonna need ui table view delegate ui table view data source and currently we're just gonna implement those right now uh we'll have to, uh, why don't we just add them right now oh command z okay um ui image picker controller delegate right there and then ui navigation controller delegate okay save that up and in the view did load uh well we don't need this to receive more memory warning you can delete that um in view did load we have to set the delegate to self so well um we'll do that but we need to add our ib outlets at ib outlet week bar table view so we have to type ui table view awesome at ib outlet week var sign out well we don't need to sign out um post button no we don't even need oh yeah we do uh ui button okay and if we need more we can add them later we need var um var posts equals an array of posts okay all right var post equals post var image picker so type ui image picker controller oh var post is a type okay um var that's all we need there and here we can say cell oh we can say table view dot dot delegate equals self and table view dot data source equals self okay and then image picker 
equals UI image picker controller and then image picker dot data source or delegate delegate equals self. Okay. Now anytime you implement a table view, you need to have these three functions. Okay. This will be number of sections. Okay. And that is going to equal return one. We only need one section. Fun or um, self a row. This is okay. Let's just uh, return post cell right now. Okay. And then and then number of rows. Okay. And we're going to return posts dot count. Awesome. So those are the three functions you have to have. That's why the error went away up here. There was an error there. Now it's gone because we've implemented the initializing functions for having a table view. Okay, so you can save that. <clears throat> so um, when the view does load, we're just going to get a snapshot of our data and then we can upload that data inside the table views. Let's just say here, um, if IR database dot database dot reference or dot child, and this is going to be post dot observe dot observe dot value, comma with with snapshot. Okay, and then oh, oops, snapshot in, and then we need, and then an and bracket I believe oh uh, that bracket needs to go in front of there okay let's see if this is working I think it is uh, perfect so it's working and then in that snapshot that we get okay uh, if we get a snapshot so there's no error equals snapshot dot children dot all objects so all the objects in the snapchat dot children dot all objects as f i r data snapshot okay um i think i need to import firebase database yeah that's my problem uh, okay so yeah um i hope it goes away yeah so th this error if you have this error just import firebase database it works so I'll put that in over here. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, sometimes you don't have, like, I don't think you actually have to, but apparently you do, huh? So uh, let's finish up here, if let snapshot. And then, um, so that's gonna return an array of snapshots. So let's say for snap in, for data in, snapshot snapshot oh i spelled that wrong in snapshot let's say if let post directory or a post dictionary equal snap dot value as dictionary okay and then it's a string comma any object awesome and then uh, we got that, so now we have the dictionary snap value um, that's going to give us this data that we're looking for inside uh, or oh, data dot value as dictionary string comma any object. Okay, sweet, and that's going to be giving us the data, so then we can put it inside of our post cell class or our post class that we created where yeah right there post um wait a second oh uh, i see so we named this posts but it's actually uh the class name is post so we can just name rename that okay and I go back over here that kind of confused me for a second let's say let the key equal data dot key and then let post equal post and then we can initialize it um we're gonna say post key and post key is going to be of course key and then the dictionary is of course going to be post dict short for diction and then we're going to append this data to our array self dot 
posts dot append post. Awesome. And then we'll just need to self dot table view dot reload data. Awesome. So we got that all working. Um, now in our table view, <coughs> uh, self row index path, say let post equal posts index path dot row. Okay. And then if let cell equals table view dot cell dot dq reusable cell with identifier and this string um i forgot what we named ours so let's go back here and get the id if we ever did oh we're not right there okay so let's just call this post so right there click enter copy that and then come back over here and we'll paste that in there. And this is going to be as um, post. So post it. Awesome. And then if let, okay. So now we can say cell.configure. Cell. Okay. For post. And we can just throw post in here. Awesome. And then otherwise, X there, place that there. Okay, and then we have to return here, return cell. Perfect. All right. Um, so one thing I want to do here is uh, I want to print this data um, just so we can make sure that we're getting it. Oh man, okay. Print data. Now, uh, so we're gonna have to do a couple things um, in the database. We're going to need to um, add the fake data. So when we run this application, everything works out. All right, I wanna see why I have an error here. Oh, okay, those, those errors went away, that's fine. So let's go to Firebase. All right, so let's open up Safari, go to Firebase. <clears throat> so in our, um, Database, let's go database. Okay, so we got users, let's create posts. And then underneath here, um, we have to have a, a key, so that could be whatever. And then we're gonna have user, um, uh, what are we pulling out of here? So username, dot text, but we're not getting the username from there. We're getting the username for a reference to the username. Okay. So we can't use that. Like I, I thought we might be able to. We're not going to be able to use that because this is the data from the post, which is right here. And the user's information is in the user's data, not, not in uh, the post. It's in the user's. So we can't do that. There's another way around it. I know how to do that. I'll show you here in just a little. But um, I want to get some data up in this video. So in the next video, we can do the posts and then we'll finish it. So the data we're pulling will be likes. So we need to put likes in here. That's going to be equal to three likes. Okay. Add that. Um, post image or image URL, I guess it is, and we need to get function. Well, um, storage, we need to just pull out a random image. New, okay, publication, storage, copy that, whatever. Let's just pull the URL, paste that there, add that. Let's get that, that. Um, all right, well, let's see if it at least pulls up that. And then we can create a reference to the user. Um, I guess we got to uh, sign in. Okay, so it crashed. Um, okay, that's important. We have to connect these outlets. I forgot about that. Um, right here, we got a table view. So we just need to connect our table view. And then we shouldn't have any more crashes. Now, also, oh, I forgot the cell. We need to link these up. So, 
Okay, we also have another problem. So post cell right there, click on it. Its class is going to be post cell, awesome. Now once you got that, right click there, and we'll have our likes label. Drag that there, post image, drag that there. Um, user image, that's gonna be right there. Username, that's gonna be right there. All right, and we're good with all of those. Now let's run the game. All right, so as you can see here, um, we're pulling the data, okay? So we have image URL, uh, and we got the likes, okay? Oh, whoops. I'll pull that up so you guys can see it. Um, maybe not. So as you guys can see right here, we have image URL and then likes, okay? That's data coming from our snapshot. You can see right there, snap. And that value is coming from right here. And then we get that, likes. Now our issue where it's breaking is the fact that we're accessing image URL. So guys, long story short, my camera died. All you have to do is in the post cell dot swift it will say ref dot data with max size you just have to up that because the images had too big of a size for what we were allowing in the next video when we create our own post that won't matter because we'll create the posts at a smaller size but in this video uh when you're just putting in those fake images make sure that they're smaller size that's what i was running into that's why images weren't loading up into the cells other than that we got it all perfect thank you guys so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave that in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button and if you want to see other tutorials my channel has quite a few of those right now and if you have any suggestions please put that in the comment section below because i love new suggestions so i can make awesome videos for you guys